I think you can back it fine. Even if you get right here, it's fine. Do you need me to stand somewhere and help you? Where? I mean, if you even if you come through here. Yeah, that's fine. I don't want to get the street. Okay. A new place, a new home for a while. Let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back. Take my time. Just enjoy the ride. I know man passing by. Life is good. Best I've ever felt. Get me up. So in it. So where I can find myself. I'm going to move all your stuff. I'm taking all your stuff. Do you want to tell them what day it is? It's moving day! Moving day! Yay. You excited? You so excited? Did you just wake up? Good job, Gigi. As I reach out, reach out, reach out, reach out to the sky. I found my way. I found my way. I was in the dark against it all that made it through the day Cause I found my way, I found my way In bad times I know I'll be okay Cause I found my way So Hunter had to work for just a little while on this morning. So Heather and I got the U-Haul and backed it up and we had almost everything loaded in this truck. We actually had to go back and rent another U-Haul to finish them up. Like Lexi kept saying, mom, it's not that much stuff, but it is a lot of stuff when you start piling it all together. As it's spread out through your house in boxes, it doesn't seem like as much as it is until it's all gathered into one spot. So anyway, Heather had a doctor's appointment on this day and the next day so she was able to help us most of both days so that was nice it was really good timing because she had a sub for both days but we got it done and I always say I can do anything a man can do and I really feel like we can but I will say once Hunter got there and it was helping us load and unload it's so much easier when you have like guy muscles and I know some women are as strong as men I'm not saying that but I am not as strong as a man so it definitely came in handy when Alden and Hunter was there and then everything was just so much easier it just kind of took some stress off of us I guess but we did as much as we could before he got here and I feel like we got a whole bunch accomplished once this truck was full and he was there and he was looking at it I really didn't feel like he could truly understand how packed this truck was because the bigger things were at the end so we had all these boxes packed and we were playing tetris we were just trying to get as much done as we could and fit as much as we could in this truck we really thought we would only need one truck but we went ahead and rented another one it's just so much easier to rent one they're not very expensive at all and then you can just get it in one trip we can party all night long and we don't need no shepherd We don't need no bad luck, so nobody break this mirror. Huh? I said we don't need no bad luck, so nobody break that mirror. Yeah.
Y'all taking this hot chip. Lost again, going back around. Dreaming of a time when I get things right. Lost in the shadows of a million. As you wake up my soul today I feel the hope when your sun shines on my face Oh, I wake up with your grace While the moonlight's still fading away I see your mercy coming with the day Oh old house they only had two bar stools pulled up to their counter they didn't have room for a kitchen table so this kitchen table is handmade Alden's dad actually made this table and then we used it for years and I painted the legs and like underneath it black and then left the top of course wood it's sealed and all that but I told Lexi, I said, it'll do until you can get something better or for sure better chairs because these chairs, they turn over easy. I feel like they're just the ladder back, you know, old fashioned chairs. So I told her she could buy some chairs for that table, paint the legs of this table underneath it, whatever color she wanted to. She could just make it her own and it can just be part of the family until she, you know, can get something better or she may want to use this on and on. And if she does, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with it. But she was just glad to get a table. She was so excited about having a dining room, just an area to put a kitchen table. And with a baby, that is so much easier to have just a space to put her plate or her food. So you're about to see Hunter and I dump their whole chest. <laughs> I dropped the brother-in-law and mother-in-law goals. I mean, son-in-law and mother-in-law goals. 
Hmm, I wonder if we're gonna take two at a time. Let's try. That'll help. Don't <laughs> hit the walls. I'm not. Okay. Just a little help. A little help. A little help. Baby's here. House tour. Let's start from the beginning, shall we? Welcome to Lexi and Hunter's house. Mom, I hope your editing skills is good. Here's the wash and dryer. Lexi said there's something cool in here. It's like an affricator or something. It's that thing. Um, I don't really know what that is. In this closet, there's a three shelf thing. I bet you I can fit right here. Oh, okay. So I fit in here. I can't believe Hunter would shut me up like that. The ceiling fan is really cool. That was kind of humbling. And then there's an area right there. And then over here. If I drop this, my mom is going to kill me. Okay. This much. That's my bedroom window. Love it. That's my bathroom window. It's huge. And then there's the basement where we started. It says, be still and know that I am God. Allison did a home tour, but as you could see, her video and skills are a little shaky. I was like, Allison, there is no way you're going to have these people so motion sick. Like, I'm just going to have to link Lexi's. So I wanted Lexi to put her home tour at first because it's their moment and she has her own channel and I don't want to take the spotlight away from them. So I will link her home tour in the description box below so you guys can go watch the whole house tour it is a really nice house it's all they need it's got a huge basement underneath it and I would love to have that space but it would be so full of junk if I had a basement but it is nice to be able to put something that doesn't necessarily belong in your house or you don't have a spot for it you can stick it in the basement and that's perfect so anyway, I'm very proud of them. I'm very proud of the way they manage their money and work hard to pay their bills and save up and all that. And Hunter is a wonderful provider. And I'm just very proud. It's a very proud mom moment when your kids buy a home, which they own their home before, but it was just a small basic house. But I feel like this has a lot more space. And I felt like the other bedrooms, like the two small bedrooms were very tiny until we started putting things in there. And then it felt so big. I was like, well, there's a lot more space than I thought, but their master bedroom is huge. I was like, I'm so jealous. <laughs> But I am very proud of them, and I think that this house will be a great house for them. And it's close to me, so that's a plus.
Lexi was trying to decide how she wanted her bedroom arranged, and then Hunter brought my camera to me. I was like, thanks, cameraman. But she ended up putting the headboard on this wall, and then you'll see how the furniture ends up. But there are so many possibilities. I said, I would love to be able to rearrange like that. Like, I love to move furniture around. I just love that kind of change. But she definitely has a lot of options. But Allison was a big help with Lakely, too. And, of course, Heather was a huge help. She drove the U-Hauls. She used to drive the bus for the softball team, so she's good at driving large things. So everyone just jumped in, and we got it done. And I said once during this whole thing, I was like, I hope this is your forever home because I don't ever want to move you again. And Lexi was like, would you ever move again? And I was like, not until I can afford movers because it is a job. I had forgotten actually how much of a job it is to move, but we all jumped in and helped them. And that's what family does. And I was so glad to be a part of it and just so blessed to be able to see the excitement on their face just as they were putting things in certain spots just the look in their eyes just knowing that it was theirs and it was a little nicer than what they had and that's awesome it's it's awesome to grow you know you always stay humble and you always thank God for what you've got for what he's given you for it can be gone in a second but at the same time he wants us to work hard and grow and prosper and that's exactly what they're doing and I couldn't be any more proud but I will hop off here and let you guys go I'm going to link her video below so go watch the empty house tour and we're going to unpack or clean this house do some laundry get caught up here we're going to do some stuff and get you another video threw up pretty soon but I just wanted to go ahead and post this just so you guys could see it but I love you guys Jesus loves you guys and I will see you in the next one you can have Shows through the 